Hi there and welcome to the Future Technologies Conference here in Vancouver, Canada. With me, Dr. Duke Boulanen, and here to talk about your latest research. Tell me, what are you researching at the moment? Yeah, uh, currently I'm an uh, associate professor at Northwest Nazarene University uh -huh. in uh, Nampa, Idaho. That's about 20 minutes west of Boise. Yeah. And I'm currently teaching at the Department of uh, Engineering teaching in the mechanical engineering uh, major, uh -huh. uh, which has courses like dynamics, machine design, uh, control systems, and mechatronics. Yeah. And aside from teaching, I'm uh, doing research in the application of robotics and engineering to agriculture. Okay, to agriculture. And yes. what is it that you research specifically at the moment? So at the moment, we are uh, doing research on specialty crops. Specialty crops are fruits, vegetables, nuts, and flowers, mm -hmm. and those crops that are not row crops like corn and wheat. And so uh, the Department of Agriculture of the United States has uh, given this specialty crop block grant. And it is through the Idaho Department of Agriculture that we have this uh, research funded. So the first grant that we had was trying to investigate the use of drones to look at the health of apples. Ah, ah, really? And so we look at if the apples are thirsty or not thirsty by using multispectral imaging. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, and uh, my, my next project is uh, trying to count or estimate the number of fruits in the orchard by counting the blossoms and the fruitlets before they become ripe fruits to help the farmers uh, estimate their yield. Our overall objective is, if you, uh, you know, it is, it is a big fact right now that the population of the world is growing, mm -hmm. but the size of the world is not. Yeah. And so we have to increase the production of agriculture and have its sustainability, you know, guaranteed for, for this uh, population that is growing. That We have to feed the mouth of these people that are uh, coming into the world. Yeah. What what are the challenges that are you are facing in within this research? Oh, the, the the main challenges we are facing in the research is since we are working in the field and we are doing machine vision, our our main challenge is the unstructured environment. So, for example, lighting. Yeah, it's like can here rain, we we, we have we, snow, we have yeah. a controlled lighting here, yeah. but the sun moves. There yeah. are shadows and all those other stuff where the camera is located, where the tree is located. That's a big challenge. And the other one is the tree is changing with time. The yes. fruit is changing with time. Yeah. And so I am hoping that we could overcome these challenges. And with how, the use. How, how are you working on overcoming these challenges? Oh, the, the keynote speak speakers this morning have, have given me the hope, you know, uh, quantum computing and artificial intelligence, deep learning. Uh, we are trying to use uh, deep learning right now yeah. to try to find the fruits on the tree. Okay. Uh, this conference is called the Future Technologies Conference. Where do you see te uh, technology taking us in 10 years' time? Well, the last keynote speaker this morning talked about social machines. So what I'm looking at 10 years from now is what I call as the human robot collaborative farm and, and so it will be a semi-automated farm where humans and robots work together and I think we can do this in Idaho. I hope so for you. Um, uh, what do you think about the conference so far? I think the conference is really good. Uh, the, the environment is great. The people are great. The keynote speakers were wonderful. Okay. Well, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. And if you want to see some more great interviews, brilliant videos, please check the website. We have a lot of information there.